Hello everyone, this is Al-Ahmad Kaid Gassad from Al-Sat and this time we are going to learn about Cochran Cuvis. Okay, sorry guys if I jump to this topic because I'm going to present this tomorrow on my report in my non parametric class. Now a Cochran Cuvis is actually a non-parametric it's a non-parametric test which provides the methods for testing whether three or more match sets of frequencies or proportions differ significantly among themselves. Well, if you don't understand more about that, you can read on Google. Okay, let's start. Now, a Cochrane Q test is not available in or is not built in in R even in the latest version for now, which is 2.14.1. But you can download and install the package. And the, num the name of the package is the Okay, first thing you do is that install the package page named RVAV named Moive. I mean, that's the name of the package. And so to install the package, type in install package packages and say RVAV and Moive. Yes, I don't know how you pronounce it. Now, after that, press enter and then there's a pop-up window in which you, you are going to select your cron mirror and choose whatever country you want and then after that, it will be downloaded and the package will be installed. After the installation, so I'm not going to press this because I have mine already. So after the installation, you're going to type library and then the name of the package, RV, AD, MOI. Now, every time you use the Cochrane Q, Q test function in R, you need to load the package. And by loading package, you need to type in library and then inside the argument, inside the parentheses is actually RVAV, which is the name of the package, and then press enter. I'm going to press enter because I'm going to use it for now. Okay, it's loading. Okay, there you go. Okay, there you go. Now, okay. So let's try and take a help for Cochrane that QTS. Okay, here it is. We have our Cochrane QTS and we have our example here. But I'm not going to use that. Okay, let's try and use Cochrane QTS function. I have my example here, which is this one. I got this from the website of, I don't know, I forgot, but I will put the link below and you can refer for that or you can download the PDF. And here is the PDF. So this is actually an example of Cochrane QTS. We have here the methods A, B, C, and D, and we have three, six different types of five fabrics. And so here is the computation, and we need to arrive to this test statistics, which is 9.3158, and also the p-value. So let's try. And here is actually the methods. I put it in Excel, and the rows will represent the different types of fabric, I mean, how do you say that, fabric, and then you have here four methods, A, B, C, and D, and so let's type in, I mean, input first uh, result, I mean the response, say that one, yes, so we are going to take the response by, or the result by row, so we have the first row is one, one, and then we have zero, and then zero, and then one, then one, and then zero and then one and then one and then zero 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 and then one 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 and then zero and then one and then one and then zero and one and then one and then one and then zero and one. Now the total of the rows and the columns should be equal to twenty four. I mean the total number of response there should be equal to twenty four. And so if we are going to say length of result, what is the length of result? So it's 24. So I hope we haven't mistaken in inputting the response. Okay. So this time we are going to make the, I mean, get the result and put it into different columns. I mean, assign the result into columns and the results. So we have our methods methods is the columns and so we have here we factor it and we repeat it 
repeat the letters constant the letters here is actually constant one to four since we have four methods and then which is composed of six rows so we have that one i mean what happened i mean sorry this is letters it should be capital because i'm going to use the constant well constant letters yes in r which is the constant built in R so later you're going to say that and also for the types of fabrics we have fabrics and then I'm going to factor that and then repeat also this time I'm going to use small letters and one that is composed of six rows and each has four columns and there you go and so let's see the fable if we have so we're going to use the apply and then the result and then we're going to list the two um the rows and the columns so the rows we have is fabrics fabrics that is those fabrics and then the methods which is our column and then we have the sum in which sum will going to give us the synthetic table press enter so we have this one so as you can see we have one one zero zero one one zero zero one one zero zero i hope everything is correct so that we can arrive on the same answer so this time we are now free or we are ready to apply the cochrane qts function in r and so type in Cochrane QTS, that QTS, QTS. Remember that R is very sensitive, okay? It's, it's case sensitive, so make sure that this spell is correct. So we have first the result, in which the result is being fast into different methods. So we have your methods, and then we also have our column, which is actually fabrics, okay? I hope everything is correct. So here it is. As you can see, we have here our Q or the test statistics Q is 9.3158. And so if you are going to check that, okay, let me zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Okay, here it is. Here we go. Okay, here is our Q, which is the test statistics Q. This test statistic, I mean, we have 9.3158, 9.3158, our p-value is 0 0.0254, and since it is less than, so it is significant, and so we have here also our pairwise comparisons, which is used by testing uh, using a Wilcoxon sign test, and so I'm not going to explain this more, you can search for that. So that's it, guys, this is how you apply, I mean, this is how you use the Cochrane Q-test function in R. And that's it guys. I hope it is not yet 10 minutes. So there you go. Bye.